Hewlett Packard Enterprise out with better than expected results, in large part because of demand for all things AI. Let's get right to the man of the hour here, HPE CEO Antonio Neri. Antonio, always great to get some time with you here. So let's start on the macro economy and the impact to your business. Is the economy in the U.S. and around the world starting to co cooperate with a company like yours? Well, I think we continue to navigate some uncertainty in the microeconomic environment, but I will say IT continue to be a top priority for customers because they need IT to operate in this digital world. And what we saw in the Q3 uh, earnings is that we saw sequential order improvements, the demand improved across all our key business segments, but obviously the star of the demand, I will say, uh, you know, the leader was AI, where we saw a wave of acceleration, also coupled with our HP GreenLake our cloud platform. So uh, we have a unique portfolio and we're taking advantage of the diversified portfolio we have. Lots unpacking that AI part of your business. I will touch on that, I promise. But on the enterprise spending, it, when you talk to large customers, are they still making tough choices? Are they loosening up their budgets? Has that changed at all compared to three months ago? No, I think it uh, continues to be the same, right? So we see areas of the portfolio where the sell cycles continue to be elongated. So they're taking the times and perhaps more approvals uh, in the process. And we see areas where it really becoming stronger. So for example, everything related to connectivity, connected people, devices and things to accelerate that data first uh, modernization, digital transformation is core because they need to be more effective and efficient in, in how they conduct the business. And obviously we saw a significant uptick in AI because everybody wants to adopt AI into the business model. So depending on the area of the portfolio in some areas, long and long elongated cycles, some other areas, you know, a little bit of uh, more frothy, if you will, but ultimately, you know, all in the right direction because IT will continue to grow on a long uh, period of time. For the investors on our platform, Antonio, they may not be totally familiar with your business. You saw a large uptick yeah. in sales in the intelligent edge business, up 50%. Is that, does that reflect demand for AI-related services and products? Well, remember our portfolio. So we have a cloud platform, which call it HP GreenLake. is a true hybrid cloud platform where we, we give customers the ability to deploy hybrid IT across the entire state whether it's to put workloads and data in the public cloud or on the premises in a co-location or at the edge even more now. And so that's our HP GreenLake platform. That platform now has under the uh, umbrella $12 billion in community total contract value. And five years ago was zero. And then ultimately we continue to drive that business through the software and services mix, which improves sequential again, two percentage points, which drive obviously higher margins. But that business grew 122% year over year. And underneath that, Brian, we have three core businesses. One is the edge, which is obviously the, the connectivity business, the, uh, the networking business that performed exceptionally well. It's the fifth consecutive quarter of record-breaking revenue and profit. Now that intelligent edge business represents 20% of the total company revenue and almost half of the company profit. Two years ago it was less than 10% and less than 15%. So massive improvement there is the new core, I would call it, of the company. Hybrid cloud obviously is all, includes compute and storage, which tends to be more cyclical, but at the same time, we have a lot of infrastructure as a service in SaaS, and then obviously AI. And so when I think about our results, clearly we have transformed the portfolio. We continue to make shift to higher growth, higher gross margin areas. And now we see AI as a tool for charge in the future. And we embed the AI in everything we do. But if you think about the AI, think about how people train data, tune models to their data in a private, secure, responsible way. And then obviously how we use that in our production models, what we refer as a AI inference models. With, within your, your backlog figure, I, is there a number to parse out in terms of total AI demand? Do you have an idea on how much demand you are building in your book of business because of the AI solutions that you have? Well, it has grown triple digits, no question. And um, we exit uh, Q3 with the largest ever order book in our HPC and AI segment. And that was symbiotic with the HP GreenLake because HP GreenLake offer all of that as a service. So is an accelerator of HP GreenLake, but also AI needs HP GreenLake to offer in a pay-as-you-go model. And then in the rest of the business, 
We embed AI in our SaaS offerings. Everything related to networking, compute, and storage has now more and more uh, SaaS attached because that software delivers the, the experience that the customers need through the infrastructure. And that has an, a component of AI now embedded uh, and will continue to grow as we go forward. You mentioned on the earnings call, Antonio, uh, NVIDIA. Do you, do you work with them? Uh, do you get chips from them? Absolutely. Can, can, you, yeah. can you get the chips you need from a company like that? Because all we hear from the outside looking in is that prices for these H100 chips have gone through the moon and there are essentially only a couple companies getting the chips they need. Not really. I mean, we work extremely well with uh, Jensen and his team. It's a fabulous team. We have an, an amazing relationship. In fact, I just spent more than a half a day with him and the team just 10 days ago in his headquarters in, uh, in the Silicon Valley. We talk about how we grow together, how we bring both sets of assets in a way that uh, democratizes AI for everyone. So I'm very bullish about that. And uh, we have unique value that we bring to the table. Because let's be clear, HPE has been in the AI space for a decade. We have done AI for unique customers in academia, government, and very, very large enterprises that built specific uh, built for purpose systems like supercomputers. Remember, we have deployed the largest supercomputers on the planet and we have more to come as we look into 2024. And so it's a very symbiotic relationship. Now, our demand had outpaced any supply availability, including for NVIDIA, but what we booked in Q3, only a very small fraction actually shipped. And remember, the revenue recognition that business has additional conditions, which is not the type of shipment, but also the time of receiving and acceptance of these uh, massive systems we deploy. As someone that has been involved in tech for, for some time, Antonio, does this feel like a special time in the industry to you? And, and yeah. what, is, what do you think's on tap? What's the biggest thing next year you think we'll all be talking about? Well, I think about the AI as one of the most important, if not the most important inflection point, at least in my lifetime. I compare this to what I call the web 1.0 or the mobile shift that we saw. And uh, obviously it has the potential to disrupt every industry, but also address some of the biggest societal challenges we all live. So it's not just for the context of business, but also in the context of the challenges we live. Think about it how we accelerate you know, the reduction of the carbon footprint. When you think about using AI and supercomputer technologies to innovate new technologies to reduce the carbon footprint, we see that every day in climate research and also in things like modeling simulation. When I think about finding cures for, for diseases like dementia, Alzheimer, and think about COVID, the reason why we got to a vaccine in nine months is because we had accelerated computing that allowed us to accelerate the research for these compounds that ultimately address these viruses. But there's so many use cases out there. The key here is to do it in a sustainable, responsible way. And sustainability is going to be essential because these type of accelerated compute consume a lot of power. And Hewlett Packard Enterprise is uniquely positioned to deploy the most sustainable supercomputers on the planet because we have that expertise. So we believe we're on the cusp of some revolution. What comes next, I don't know exactly, but I will say, obviously we see quantum computing emerging along the way, neural computing as well. So it's just a remarkable time to be in this industry. And I have a lot of fun with my team tackling the challenges and the opportunities. And we've had a lot of fun following uh, all these things that you guys continue to work on over there at HP. Antonio Neri, uh, always great to get some time with you. We'll talk to you soon, we appreciate it. Thank you, Brian.